But I don't want my family, my daughter's existence, to be erased. If your family is so important to you, why did you leave them on the moon? You could have just brought them to Earth with you. I could have if I was a normal colonist, but that wasn't the case. I was an agent placed among the colonists. My job was to make the redevelopment of Earth fail. Why? The moon spent a thousand years fixing the Earth's environment, to sabotage it when it was almost finished. Did things change on the moon? If my memory serves me correctly, I heard that something flew in from outer space. You don't know? It's kind of a long story, but I'll tell you what happened 2,000 years ago. It was when Yakumo Sumeragi and the colonists immigrated to Earth. A comet passed close by the moon. The comet left behind the unknown substance called other particles in space. Gravity then began pulling those particles down to Earth and the moon. Earth was still mostly unpopulated, so the effects were unknown, but the moon began to have cases of people turning into monsters. Monsters? Do you mean... Yes. Metamorphosis. If a living creature comes into contact with the other particles, they change into aberrations. Into others. At the time, the redevelopment of Earth had moved to the final step of gravity control. If that were sabotaged, we could stop the other particles falling to the moon. Basically, that was the Moon Faction's plan, and I was an agent who had been given secret orders to carry it out. Yakumo Sumeragi and the rest of the colonists were already on Earth. You were just gonna leave them to die? It's terrible, I know. But people like Yakumo resisted the Moon's wishes, and the plan ended in failure. So the Moon put Plan B into action. They pushed the other particles toward Earth, surrounding it, and making it so we couldn't return home. Other particles surrounding Earth. The Extinction Belt. I think it's safe to say that the Moon's space technology is far ahead of ours. The Moon was overpopulated at the time, and I heard most of the people went to Earth. It was probably a plan to reduce the population. I was cut off from the moon, so staying on Earth was the only option. I don't know what happened on the moon after that. The metamorphosis might have spread. More people like my sister. Even so, I believed that my family was safe, and joined Togetsu so I could return to the moon. I went in and out of cold sleep many times, trading off with comrades as we searched for a way to break through the extinction belt. But after several awakenings, I realized Togetsu had changed their plans. There was just no way I could allow them to reset history. That's why becoming a traitor was the path I chose. I understand. My father wasn't perfect. He would often make mistakes, especially when it came to how he led the government. But he was family, the only father I had. I just can't forgive you for killing him. But it's because of that, I understand your desire to protect your family. So let's stop Togetsu together. I will always resent you. But I think I can stand up to them with you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I might have done something distasteful to further my goal, if I had taken a wrong turn somewhere as well. So, I think I understand a little bit of your actions. You know, you're much more mature than I am. Or maybe I'm just too immature. I guess in the end, I made you decide after all. So lame. Let me help you stop Togetsu. Are you finished? Kasane, I caused you so much trouble. I'm sorry. Stop acting so meek all of a sudden. It's weird. Kasane, I thought you were the one who killed my father. <laughs> I'm sorry I doubted you. It's just as much my fault for not saying anything. When I wanted to kill you, 
I thought that having you hate me would keep me focused on the task. I guess that makes sense. So, you don't have to apologize. Yeah, okay. That's enough talk for now, then. I'm sure you all have your own questions. Even I don't understand what's going on. But we have to work together and focus on what needs to be done. If that is your decision, I don't think we have anything else left to say. All right. So our main mission is to go to Togetsu as soon as we can and stop Babe. What do you think of using my power to make everyone invisible in order to infiltrate it? We should probably assume that Kagero and I are both known traitors by now. We don't have time to dwell on it. It's dangerous. But I believe Kagero's plan has potential. Togetsu probably doesn't expect an attack from such a small force. Let's consider it a sneak attack. Okay, let's do it. First, we'll climb Hiano Mountain and get close to Togetsu. <sighs> that was not good on my nerves. Don't scare me like that. I'm glad you're both okay. Wataru, Haruka, I'm sorry I made you worry. Let's 
or clouds again. We're almost to Togetsu. Kagero, are you ready? An earthquake? The shaking. It's similar to the big earthquake at Kunat Highway. I think it's over. Is everyone okay? The Kunat Gate just briefly put out some strange numbers. An earthquake-type shaking was felt all across New Himuka. It wasn't too severe, so there shouldn't be too much damage. We're fine here. There was no significant damage to Hiano Mountain. It must have been caused by the Kunat Gate. Togetsu is doing all kinds of research on it too, right? Yes. While we're stopping Babe, we should dig up as much useful information as we can. Yuito, how's your head? Do you feel anything weird about your power? Any abnormalities? Huh? No, not really. My head hasn't hurt at all since everyone gave me my memory back. Why? That's good then. When we were fighting, I felt... How can I describe it? It was like your power was spilling over. You might have just been excited. Does that kind of thing happen to you? It is true that powers are affected by emotions. However, if that was not the case... There is a theory that it is a sign of decaying mental abilities. Apparently, when abilities are about to disappear, they become strangely more powerful. So you're saying... my powers are going to go away? Apparently it's been observed in rare cases along with the aging of the brain. It shouldn't be happening to you now. Yes, that's true. However, his brain has suffered quite a bit of damage. I also used to be a dud, so it might be different from a normal human brain too. What? You were a dud? Oh, right. I didn't tell you guys yet. You became a psionic from an experiment when you were a kid? I can't believe you were a dud. Do you know how long my power will last? Will it disappear today or tomorrow? It's not that sudden. But there haven't been many cases, so I can't say for sure. We're not sure that's what it is anyway. This is all just an assumption. I know that. If it's not going to be sudden, I won't think about it for now. Sorry for adding to your worries. Don't get too caught up about it. It's okay. I didn't realize it myself, so I'm glad you said something. Okay. Anyway, we should start watching our surroundings. We're near Togetsu. 
Time to turn invisible. You ready? Yes. We'll go right in. Yuito? I'm curious about what Kokoro said. Are you really feeling alright? Yeah, I'm fine. My power apparently won't go away too soon. So we just have to see what happens. Okay. Just don't push yourself too hard. I would like to be useful for once. to keep this up with this many people. There's not much security inside, just like we thought. All right. We'll go straight to Babe. Look out! Damn! Here they come. The Togetsu design children. Oof. Looks like they were expecting us. We have to break through. How? We're surrounded! Figure something out. If we run now, there will be even more security next time. I'll use teleportation. Not with this many people. We don't know the layout inside, babe. I know the location, and we have to take our chances. Kasane is right. We may not have another opportunity. If we get close to babe, they'll have to take precautions. So why don't we just take the risk? I trust you. Let's get this done. Luca, do it! Here we go! This is... the entrance to Babe. Good. It worked. Nice one, Luca. Maybe you should rest a little. No. I appreciate the concern, but I don't think we have that kind of time. Huh? Uh! Others. Why? Hey, Haruka! Wataru! Damn. Sinet has been cut off. I don't know why there are others here, but we're better off than before. Yeah, there's not too many. Let's take them out. I sense... 
No others around us. This is bad. I never thought they'd toss a bunch of others around inside the Babe building. You didn't know? Wait, what do you mean, toss? Do you mean they caught others and brought them here? Or maybe they know how to metamorphose, like Suo. Togetsu possesses the other particles. They used them to make others. This is the first time I've seen them used like this, though. The others were born here by placing live creatures in contact with the other particles. Should we keep going this way if we want to shut down Babe? I don't have the blueprints to the building, though it looks like the command center is as far inside as you can go. The terminal that tried to take control of Yuito only connects to the superficial information on Babe. All right, let's just keep going. Leave it. 
to you.
with it. That attack worked! That must be a weak spot. won't open. How can we get past this? Seems like your knowledge of my power is quite shallow. Destroy the control device. If you use electrokinesis to apply high voltage, it should be easy. Bad. That's good. Let 
time to use your power. You can deal with it. That's a good decision. <laughs> Control it. Yeah. 
can hit it! Now, here we go! Control it.
Control it. teleport to places I know are safe. When the area is out of my visual range, I need someone with clairvoyance, like you. I always appreciate your help. I'm glad I can help, even though I'm not very strong. I need support!
hit the outer shell. I think I can break it if I focus my attacks. Let's get serious. It might be easier to electrify now that it's wet. Thanks. I can fight it. At this rate. That was thanks to my power. Keep it up. Let's regroup. We can deal with it. Now die! Come on! Here we go! Give it everything you have! Yeah! Take this! You 